subscribe for my channel Amol Ujagre and hit the bell icon for latest update. Today I am going to discuss very important questions which is asked many times in interview room and the question is I have 100 test cases and I have to run only 25 out of them so what should I do? So I am going to give you a full demonstration of it so please watch this video till the end my name is Amul Zagar and you are watching me on my YouTube channel. I am the author of the book Practical Approach of Software Testing which is available on Amazon India, International and Kindle. Let me create some tests like um, let's say test example 1 Okay, so here I'll write few test cases. Say at the rate test will do test in your course. So then public spread public world test one say is out I'm just uh, simply writing a test so here I'm only going to write system.out.println and not the whole uh, automation code because here the purpose is just to see how to execute specific test cases instead of running all the suit so test one we will print uh, let's say test one then I'll take a few more let's say test two test four test five test let's say six here also six four and file right I'll create one more class test example 2 and here also I will write few test cases test 7 test 7 test 7 test 8 test 8 9 test 9 test 10 10 see so I have around 10 test cases 4 in uh, test example 2 and around 6 in test example 1 so let's say I want to execute only few test cases like uh, mm, I'll just write required yes so wherever I'm writing this word required these are the only test cases I want to execute so I'll pick two test cases from this class and let's pick some another two test cases from this class so first we will see we will execute these two classes in one run and after that we will see how to execute only those specific test cases so as we know that we can write a testng.xml right so uh, here i have written a testng um, let's say group examples I'm giving the name as group example right and uh, and I'm writing these two classes which are inside the package test ng groups dot test ng example one and example two right so 
if I run this suit, let's see what happens. Okay, so everything is executed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then in this class, ten, seven, eight, nine. So you can see I want to execute only those test cases which have required text, right? So let's do one thing. We will group those test cases like this. So groups is equal to into curly bracket. Let's say uh, my test. You can give any name to it, and I'll put this group in front of every test case that I want to run. Right. So here I'll write this group and then group. Fine. So now what we will do before this class we will write groups groups then run run okay so inside this we will write include name is equal to include name is equal to uh, what is the name I have given my test right and now let's run this see required 2, required 6 then required 7, required test 9 so only those tests are executed which had a group name my test this is how you can run only specific tests using test engine so you just need to add one group a group tag before you write the classes and you have to add the text group is equal to whatever name you want to give to group right and your work will be done so thanks for watching this video guys uh, i hope you like this video if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and if you have still not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and if you want to learn selenium with me so you can call me on this number i conduct trainings in pune so just call me on this number and you can come to my place and learn selenium with me thank you very much